Hi guys, welcome to our Express Pilates workout. My name is Chris Neeson, I'm an exercise physiologist and the owner here at Better Exercise Physiology. Our Express Pilates workouts are 10 to 15 minute Pilates classes for you to do at home. They're designed for clients who are coming in here once or twice a week that want to get a little bit more benefit on what they're already doing or for someone who doesn't necessarily have the time to get in here but still wants to enjoy all those benefits of Pilates including so that you improve core strength, improve posture, improve general strength. We recommend doing the classes first thing in the morning to get you started for the day. It's a great way to switch on all your stabilizing muscles, all those core muscles, just wake you up in the morning. Let's get started with our first class. Hope you enjoy. In today's class we've got a combination of lower body and abdominal work and then for the second half we're going to move into some upper body work, maybe finish with a bit more at work at the end about 10 minutes or so today. Lying on your back, feet together, knees bent, arms out to the side. We're just going to start with some knee rolls, rolling your knees all the way to the side. We just want to let them drop out and relax each time. The idea of this stretch is just to loosen up your lower back and pelvis. Try to let everything switch off. Try to let those knees just sink out to the side each time. If there's a little bit uncomfortable to start, if you've had a little bit of low back pain recently and it's a bit painful, just do a smaller movement. As it starts to warm up, you'll start to feel you can go a bit further each time. Otherwise, if it's feeling good, just go all the way side to side. We'll do one more either side. And come back to the middle. Next one, similar movement with your feet apart now, right to the edges of the mat. Dropping your knee right towards the ground, bring it to the middle, then out towards the other side. This one is starting to stretch a little bit more around the side and the front of the hip as we go. Same idea, just let the knees drop out to the side. Try not to hold any t tension there, just let it all relax. We've got one more either side again. And coming back to the middle. Feet hip distance. Knees bent still, we're going to go through some oblique crunches, starting to get those abdominals and obliques warmed up. We want our fingertips to our temples, head relaxed, neck relaxed to start. We're going to lift one shoulder and elbow and rotate up. This opposite side stays on the mat. We come to the bottom and we do the same to the other side. Just rotating side to side, lifting up into an oblique crunch and then back down. Make sure your knees don't roll side to side as you lift up and down. Keep them still and keep them hip distance apart. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, bring the legs up into tabletop. Again, making sure your knees stay still. If you can do this one alright, you've got quite strong abdominal muscles, add in a leg stretch. So one leg comes in, the other stretches away. Each time, making sure you rest your head and neck at the bottom. Otherwise, these muscles are just going to tense up Instead of getting an abdominal workout, you're just going to get a sore neck by the end of the set. If you find that your neck is stiffening up regardless, try holding your hands behind your neck in this movement and just lifting up, gently supporting the head as you come up. We're not pulling on the neck, but just gently supporting it. Got another 15 seconds here. Just find whichever option's right for you, either with the feet down, the legs in tabletop or with the leg stretches. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and roll back down. Hug your knees towards your chest. Just doing some small circles to let the lower back loosen up, the abdominals relax. Good. And now we're going to be sitting up on our mat. Now I've done those abdominal exercises. We're going to go through some upper back mobility want you sitting cross-legged, if you find it hard in this position, grab a pillow, sit on a pillow instead or a cushion, it'll just prop you up and it'll be a bit nicer for the knees. We're called a bow and arrow stretch, you want our arms reaching out in front of us, with one arm, we want you pulling back, watching that elbow as you come back, and we reach the other arm forwards, and then we come back to the middle. Just like pulling on a bowstring. One arm reaches back, we rotate as far as we can, looking towards your back elbow, and then come back towards the middle. So we're just trying to stretch out through the upper back and spine. Just continue going side to side, trying to go a little bit further each time. 
Make sure your neck muscles stay relaxed and your shoulders aren't hunched up. Keep them relaxed down. We're sitting up tall, long through the neck. Got two more either side. Just pushing that a little bit further on these last couple. You can just hold it for a second. Stretch that bit further. One more either side, still sitting tall. You're going to find after doing these exercises, your posture is just a lot better. You'll be up a little bit taller for the rest of the day. Let's come back to the middle. Going to get you lying face down for this next exercise. Forehead down on the mat, arms down at the sides. Can be a little bit more comfortable. I like just a, a towel, placing a towel underneath your forehead for an exercise like this. Arms down at the side. We're just going to be doing a shoulder attraction where we're putting our shoulder blades back and up off the mat. It just looks like this, drawing the shoulder blades back and then relaxing back down. You can try this one out. If you find that's reasonably easy, pull your hands back as well as you squeeze the shoulders back. So we're just trying to work those postural muscles that stabilize our shoulder. Make sure the neck stays relaxed and we're not gripping on up here. If it's easy again, you can try this arm out at the sides. And that's going to be pulling our shoulders and hands back and relaxing back down. Still focusing though on the shoulder blades creating the strength. Not the hands lifting, the shoulder blades pinching towards the middle of the spine and back up. Just find whichever option is right for you. We can just go to those shoulders if it's a bit much. Got another 20 seconds here. We want to start to feel those postural muscles start to fatigue. When we're done at the end of the class, I just want you standing up and feeling how your posture feels. See if you feel taller, see if you feel like you're carrying yourself a little bit stronger. Let's go for 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and relax your shoulders down, hands into a push up position. We're stretching out, extending up through our back, holding for a count, then lowering back down. Just bring the hands into a position wherever it feels strong. We're just gently stretching through the spine and the upper back, looking up as far as is comfortable. Again, all these movements just depend on your range of motion how everything feels, the joint integrity. If it doesn't feel right coming this high, don't come quite as far. There's no harm in that. It will loosen up and it will get a little bit more as long as you don't overdo it and push too far. Each time as you lift, think about pulling the rib cage at the front out, drawing the rib cage up to get that back extension. And lowering back down, we're going to do three more. Holding for that count at the top. You can take a breath in and out at the top if, if you'd like. Just help relax everything. Two more. Make sure your stomach muscles, your back muscles, your hip muscles are all relaxed still. Just got one more in this position. And lowering back down. Before we go on, we can just sit in charge pose. Reaching the arms forward along the mat. It's a good position just to let everything relax through the lower back. Lying on your back, last exercise for the class, we're going to be doing some hundreds. In those hundreds, all we do is come up into a crunch and hold, and then we're pulsing our hands up and down. If you're finding this easy enough, you can do it with the legs up. Harder again is holding the legs out. We've got 30 seconds, so when you start, when you're ready, curling up, holding that crunch, holding your chin tucked down and pulsing your arms. Let's go. We're breathing in for five pulses. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Holding that as high as you can. Again, you can make it harder with the legs up or the legs out. Whatever's right for you. No need to overdo it at this stage. 15 seconds to go. A little bit quicker with the hands. We're strong with our shoulders, strong with those abs. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and roll back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Just some small circles to loosen up the lower back. Well done, guys. We're all done. Try and do those exercises a few times this week, uh, if you can, every day, and you'll start to feel those benefits of getting stronger, fitter, more flexible. We'll have a new class on Monday. Just keep an eye on our YouTube, Facebook, or on the website at betterexercise.com.au. Thanks a lot.